biologists in Mobile are trying to beat back an invasion. Well, the past couple of years, snails the size of baseballs have been reproducing and spreading in Three Mile Creek. But progress against the creatures is being made. Fox 10 News reporter Matt Barentine tells you more. <laughs> Underneath the surface of the lake in Mobile's Langham Park, a battle is being waged. The enemy is the island apple snail, a South American invader that can grow to the size of a baseball. They really showed up last year in full force. U.S. Fish and Wildlife biologist Andy Ford says the snails reproduce prolifically and push out other native species, and their potential for spreading is ever-present. We've all heard the term moving at a snail's pace. Well, these guys defy that. They can fill an air bladder, float to the surface, and move with the current. That technique has allowed them to move within a mile and a half of Mobile River. Saltwater has kept the snails from moving any farther, and biologists want to eliminate them while they're contained. Last fall, they attacked them with copper sulfate, which is toxic to the snails, but harmless to other species. That killed 60% of them. Combined with the cold weather, their numbers have noticeably dropped. They're still here, but we've made a dent in them. But the snails are tough. They can close a flap called an operculum and hide in their shells. They can actually burrow down in the sediments, shut this operculum, and they can stay like that for nine months. Ben Ricks, a biologist with the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, has been trying another tactic, releasing hundreds of red-eared sunfish, more commonly known as shellcracker. They're native to this area. You know, there are already some in the lake, but we're just kind of bolstering their numbers. The shellcrackers will hopefully eat the juveniles, but they can't crack open an adult, so the fish are just one part of the battle. This is really going to be a, uh, a war, and uh, we've just fought a few battles. And losing the war against the snails on Three Mile Creek could affect every other waterway in South Alabama. In Mobile, Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News. So how did a South American snail come to be in Three Mile Creek in the first place? Well, say they likely came from someone's aquarium.